he is back. And we are super, super psyched for some science. Please welcome one of our favorite people at Science Bob. Hi, Science Bob. Thank you. Hi, hello. hi. Hello, it's hello. very hello. exciting. All right. Okay, Science Bob, All what right. are we going to do for the first time? Uh, well, so whenever we, uh, whenever we talk about STEM education, one of the things we highlight is that science is everywhere, right? So yeah. everything mm -hmm. we do. Uh, this glass table, this glass was made from sand. So this used to be sand, which is crazy. The metal part used to be embedded in rock on the side of a mountain until we dug it out and we Amazing. turned it into this table. So <laughs> yeah. uh, another thing is fireworks. Uh, fireworks are a celebration of physics and chemistry. We have rockets and we have colors and fire. So I thought we'd do a little firework chemistry here. Okay. All right, so uh, you guys got your masks down. Yeah. I'm going to light these. These are, are going to be our Bunsen burners for today. Okay. Um, if you want to just get a yellow flame, that's uh, one of the easier ones to get. Okay. So in this bottle, I've got some ethanol. And if I spray that, did we lose our other one? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So this is uh, ethanol, which is a flammable liquid. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, spray that. If I spray that, Ooh, ooh, wow, hey. get that yeah. nice, Yellow fireball. Fourth of July, fourth of July. Yellow fireballs aren't great. If you want uh, fireworks, you need lots of color. Yeah. So Ryan, grab that one and uh, go ahead and spray that flame. You can get pretty close to it. There, that's good. Fourth of July. So this has copper in it, a copper salt. So we get this Ooh. beautiful green flame. Isn't that cool? And this one has strontium. You okay, talk okay, about, okay. <laughs> you talk about the periodic table. This one has strontium in it. So you can go ahead and give that a try. Oh, beautiful. Oh, isn't that nice? So this is what you do if you want red fireworks. Fourth of July. Isn't that great? Yay. Oh, cool. So that's, uh, you know, depending on what you want. And if, uh, if you, uh, I'll tell you, actually, if you want some sparkles, this is uh, iron dust. And so we can add that, and then we get So that's how fireworks beautiful. actually work. Fourth of work. July. That's good, right? All right, terrific. Okay. And then uh, I thought it might be fun to talk about something called nitrocellulose. Yes. A lot mm -hmm. of times there are cool science inventions that happen by accident. Mm -hmm. So there's this guy in the mid-1800s, and he's a chemist. So he's got a, he spills a combination of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. He panics, grabs the first thing that he can in his kitchen, which is an apron, wipes it up. Right. So he soaks it all up, cleans it all up, hangs the apron back up, assumes his wife will never notice. Right. Um, and then the apron dries. And what he didn't know is that combination of chemicals actually changed the chemistry of the apron. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, Ryan. So what did the apron become? Oh, oh cool. We're going to show you. <laughs> All right. So Are Ryan, they still together, he and his wife? This is, uh, I, that's a good question. Uh, grab that uh, lighter and just light that on fire. This is just regular cotton. Can I do it cotton. barehanded? Sure, sure. They're child safety. There you go. Just light it? Yeah. And if we watch that, it's kind of a cool reaction. It's like a we marshmallow roast. Like yeah. Alaska. And we can actually see it turning yeah. black, and that's the carbon that yeah. is in the cotton because uh, it's an organic material. But on a demonstration level, this is like maybe a two, right? OK. Right. Imagine that we then take this and soak it in a solution of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. That's what this is. Feels like cotton, looks like cotton, doesn't burn like regular cotton. OK. So, Kelly, I'm going to give you this one. OK. And I'm going to have you light that. And we're going to see how nitrocellulose, which is what it has become, burns. <laughs> it's gone. Magic. It's gone. What was it? Wow. That was like from Harry Potter. No smoke. Look. So that's what happened to the apron. So the apron vanished. The and it apron disappeared. burst into flames by the oven. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. 